Happy summer. So, you know, one of the things that I have always done to make sure that what I did during the summer created a seamless highway for me when school started the following year was systematic approaches. So I was like, as I was actually creating my approaches and my systems um, and some of the routine things that I do to make sure that I have everything in place for the following school year, I said, oh, let me share this with new teachers. Um, I often give these different tips to new teachers that are in the building that I'm in or um, if someone asks me, you know, how do I get this um, system in place or what are some of the things that I do to make sure that I have a seamless highway starting the school year. First, creating that seamless highway is going to be important. This means that you're going to have your systems, your routines, and your programs in place to make sure that students know what is expected no matter whether it's August or May. Um, one of the things that I always find interesting and also I giggle about is when it's June, which we're in June, the students are still doing the exact same thing because of that system that I put in place in August. Um, one of the rules that I have is no matter what's going on um, in that classroom, unless we have set the expectation before an activity, that you must always be seated. Um, you must always talk lower than the music that's playing. So if we're doing an activity and it, it causes or it asks for you to speak with your neighbors or your classmates, then the music is going to be a little louder than regular days. But normally the music is at a soft tone, so that means that you're able to talk but then that you must talk lower than the sound of the music. If the music is off, you're quiet. You're not talking. But some other systematic approaches that I use are my Google Docs that I create in the summertime. And this is, on this Google Doc, you can find everything. Um, I also allow the students to make a copy of it as well as the parents to make a copy of this. And what's on this Google Doc is the ways that we're going to communicate with the links that are available for just parents to log in, sign in, uh, so on and so forth, as well as the students. Also passwords um, to any programs or digital platforms that we're using. Um, also, I am one for being very routine in how my week and the days of the week go. Mondays is always gonna be vocabulary focus. Tuesdays is always gonna be um, taking notes, watching a video, having that class discussion, um, and making sure that they're doing some form of thinking, using that prior knowledge so that when we get to Wednesday, which is writing Wednesday, they're able to write, they're able to journal, and then we also have it where we are playing some type of digital platform game to just digest all the things that we've learned in those first three days. Thursday is where we're going to do some type of collaborative work, and they're going to create whatever it is, the product that we need to create that week to make sure that we really understand what's happening, but also using the knowledge of our classmates, the other um, people in our community to really understand what it is that's happening in class. And then Friday, we're gonna do some type of informal assessment to see where are we, what have we learned, and what do we need to go back and revisit. So these are my systematic approaches to make sure that I have a seamless classroom. Now, I do this every week, stop now if we're out on a Monday I actually tell the boys this week we're not going to do vocabulary and then I'm able to go back and touch and re-teach some of the vocabulary work from the prior week um, sometimes I'll add a little bit of um, new knowledge on that Tuesday depending on what video or what uh, what it is that I want them to reach that week um, but for the most part I stick to what that day is and it also creates that consistency and those routines for those students to learn as much as they can while they can this is just a little bit of what I have um, when creating the systematic approaches, but I'm going to have a document available for you on July 1st that you can download and that you can use to create your systematic approaches, your routines, and um, it will be something that you can also personalize so you can change and edit and do all the things to make sure that you're able to have what you need in your educational setting. I hope this has been helpful. Also, if you need anything or if you have any questions, feel free to reach out through email or DM, however you see this video. And always remember to take your time. The slower you go, the faster you get there. And this summer is set aside for you to rest. And we'll talk about that next on our next episode. Summer. It's summer.